In this video, I'll show you how to calculate your fuel economy on your vehicle. It's fairly straightforward. I'm going to show you how to do it in miles per gallon. And after that, I'm going to show you how to do it in liters per hundred kilometers. Okay, let's get started with this one, miles per gallon. You need two pieces of information recorded accurately to get this calculation done. The first one is that, oh, matter is spelled this way. The first one is uh, you need your mileage from your, for, from your odometer. On it, usually, there is a little trip counter that uh, displays the number of miles since last reset. Now, you have to make sure that you reset it when you fill up the gas tank. And uh, between two fill-ups, say you have, I don't know, 162 miles. How about that? So you recorded 162 miles between two fill-ups. The second piece of information that you need is the volume or amount of gas that your vehicle consumed over the same 162 mile distance. To do that, it is probably the best thing to do is to go from full tank to full tank again. Because if it's not full, it's really hard to get started from half a tank, consume some of the gas, and then refill it to exactly the same level. It's not happening, so best thing to do is go from full, let's say you, full, full tank to full tank. And when you do so, you can see on the, uh, on the uh, gas station's uh, counter that maybe you had, uh, I don't know, 5.4 gallons of fuel consumed by the vehicle over the same 162 mile distance. So what you do then with your calculator is you do one division, 162 miles divided by 5.4 gallons. Let's say what does that equal to? Here's calculator 162 divided by 5.4 equals 30. So that's 30 miles per gallon. Okay, and it doesn't matter what kind of gallon uh, that amount is expressed in. It could be imperial gallons or it could be US gallons. Uh, whatever gallons you're using, it doesn't matter. But that's how to calculate miles per gallon. Likewise, this could be land miles or nautical miles. It doesn't matter. Uh, you place your uh, unit of distance in here and the uh, unit of volume in here and you're gonna get out of it a calculation like so like 30 miles per gallon the other one for uh, metric countries and this one here liters over 100 kilometers goes as follows you're gonna need the same odometer reading but you gotta do one thing to it. Because you're measuring uh, the fuel economy is expressed as uh, amount of gas consumed over 100 kilometers, you have to make sure that your odometer reading, again, the trip counter, uh, whatever amount you got out of it, say you had uh, 403 kilometers. Okay, because the final amount is expressed per 100 kilometer, you're gonna to have to divide it by 100 right away. So uh, when you divide it by 100, you shift the decimal point two spots over. So uh, you have a 4.03, a number to work with. And uh, you're also gonna to need to record the uh, volume of gas that you put into the vehicle say you filled in, I don't know, how about 38 liters? Again, from full gas tank to full gas tank, measured, uh, you know when the uh, gun on the gas station clicks, you set it to refill, 
and when it reaches a point in the gas tank, it uh, it cuts off the uh, fuel and the uh, and the gun clicks. So you go from one click to one click, full to full, and say you put in 38 liters of gas. And uh, what you do is very simple. You do another division here because this one is expressed volume over distance. So you put the volume up top, 38 liters over 4.03 because 403 kilometers is 4.0300 kilometers. Okay, so 4.0300 kilometers. Okay, when you do the division. You're going to get another number out of it, 38, divided by 4.03, and that equals to 9.4 liters over 100 kilometer. So that's how you can check your fuel economy, and uh, I recommend that you do so to keep a tab on things to make sure that your vehicle is not consuming gas excessively. If it does so, you might have some mechanical problems or maybe as simple as a flat tire. So that's why it's useful to uh, check your fuel economy for example and that's exactly how you do it. One division with two pieces of numbers and a little bit of attention how you get uh, or when you get the uh, distance and when you get the amount of gas